What's up Saiyan Army, welcome to the video. Today what we're going to be showing you is my full body workout, Saiyan Gains full body workout day number one. What you're seeing on your screen now is a 4x5 with 115 pounds. I kept it relatively conservative, uh, mainly because at this point I was still having some issues with my elbow and whatnot and I just didn't want to push it too hard on this day so as you'll see I'm trying to keep the form as tight as possible trying to control the eccentrics and really you do explosive contestants just controlling the weight the whole time so definitely going heavier the next workout so anyways I just want to get into the topic of this video and that is why I lost gains and this is mainly talking about since my time in New York now one of the main reasons I feel like I feel like I'm about maybe a few pounds down in muscle, maybe one or two pounds down in muscle, which is, is actually a lot in the grand scheme of things. And the reason being is because, you know, of my injury last year, because I ruptured my bicep last year and I feel like my body's still not 100% there. My left arm still isn't, the strength isn't still 100% there. Um, even the doctor said it takes a little bit over a year to get it back to 100%. So I'm still working my way back up. And I just, and from there, I just kind of want to segue into a topic that I've been wanting to talk about for a while. And that is like, the past four or five years, I haven't made really any significant progress in my physique. If you look at the videos back then, I look relatively the same. And the main reason of that is because I decided to stay lean year round. Now for me personally, it's not hard for me to stay lean because I have a genetically fast metabolism. Um, on top of that, I started cosplaying. So about four or five years ago, as you look, as a lot of you guys may have come to my channel from or found my channel through, if you look at all my most popular videos, it's all, you know, me cosplaying Goku and doing your Comic Con, you know, San Diego Comic Con. Um, we're going to be doing Anime Expo coming up this year. Stay tuned for that. Super excited for that. I was supposed to do it last year, but the injury. So I'm super excited to finally go this year. Hopefully the Corona stuff does not affect it or, wh or whatever. And hopefully everything's like clear by then, but we shall see. So yeah, and as like a natural lifter, you need to go on longer bulking phases. You know, I've been doing this for over 15 years now. I think to make any significant type progress, I need to go on like a long-term bulking phase at least eight months to a year, if not longer. And because I cosplay multiple times a year, the longest I'll go into surplus is maybe, maybe four to five months tops. And I would have to gain, you know, some body fat as well. Because right now I would put my body fat at around maybe 10 or 12 percent. And that is too lean for myself to gain muscle. I would have to, you know, increase my calories and eat a lot more food. And for me, it's not hard to maintain this level of body fat, you know, because I look good, feel good. But in order to make significant gains, that's what I have to do. And that is why something I always preach is you know, you gotta lose aesthetics to gain aesthetics. You gotta go into these bulking phases to, you know, gain the muscle, go into surplus, gain some fat, gain some muscle, and when you peel back down, that's when you, you know, the gains and progress will really show. And yes, I'm being kind of a hypocrite because, you know, I, it's not something that I've been doing, but it's something I recommend for you guys. And, you know, another reason is just straight business. You know, again, you look at my top videos, they're all, you know, my Comic-Con cosplay videos, you know, which I have to be lean for. It's not gonna be a Goku cosplay if I come in looking like Majin Buu or, you know, or Yajirobe, um, full bulk mode. It's give and take and it's the sacrifice that I decide to make for myself you know, to help grow my channel, to help inspire people, to help Saiyans ascend, to help, you know, grow myself social media business-wise. It all ties hand in hand together, you know? And it's a sacrifice that I decided to make for myself and my gains because I decided that growing my channel, growing my business, helping people was more important than, you know, my personal gains, you know, and going on these long bulk modes where I can't cosplay or I can't you know, grow social media as well. Because let's be real, it's easier to grow on social media when you have abs versus no abs. And that's just how it goes. So going back to the workout, the second exercise you saw was T-bar rows, chest supported. That's one of my favorite machines. I like to grip it a little bit further in from the handle. So what you see is I put my pointers like outside of the handle. I just feel it a lot more on my back and upper back. Following that, I did some single leg hamstring curls. I do these standing instead of with my knee on the thing, on the pad. For those of you guys who've been following me since my New York time, this is a 
form that I learned from Tehran and he treats this kind of like running where he likes to plant his opposite foot and explosively kick the hamstring curl back just like you're running as if you're like kicking back in a while you're running so that's pretty much how I do it I just like it and I prefer it following that hit some destructo disc and you guys seen this movement and one of my favorite overhead press type movements it's a lot easier on your rotator cuff than overhead press that's why I like it on you know this accessory type day I am adding spirit bombs into the workout as you guys will see later on I have a full-on arm day included into this full body workout it's a six day split following that doing single arm pull downs one of my favorite unilateral type exercises for your lats especially those of you guys with uneven lats or for some of you guys that have a hard time building that mind muscle connection with your lats i really enjoy these so i was doing these with the rope for a little bit and then i switched back to the handle reason being is because with the rope as you go heavier it just hurts your hand the ball part of the rope gripping it it just digs into your hand as you're pulling down so the heavier you go the hard it's just harder to overload with it and it just is kind of uncomfortable so when you're using lighter weights like you're going anywhere like 15 20 reps plus then it's okay once you start going in the 10 to 12 rep range and going a little bit heavier that's when it kind of like digs into your hand and it makes it a little sore so yes i still recommend doing it with the rope especially if you feel it better um, especially for those of you guys that have a hard time building that mind muscle connection like I talked about earlier um, definitely do it that way following that hitting some leg press so what I'm doing for this leg press is I'm focusing on my quads so again if you bring your feet a little bit higher on the platform you're hitting you know more of your hamstrings glutes you bring it lower on on the platform you're hitting more of your quads this isn't my favorite um, leg press at all my favorite leg press is actually the one that is on like that pendulum that kind of swings back and forth I don't know what happened to that leg press but any gyms in Hawaii do not have those leg press anymore I mean if there is a gym in Hawaii that has it let me know in the comments but this gym used to have it back in the day and then they got rid of it and now they just have this slide leg press which is okay but definitely not my favorite it's just not as natural and I feel like it's just easier to get injured on this type of leg press because you know you see a lot of people overloading on the weight they don't have the mobility they try to go too deep their lower back lifts up you know they blow out their butthole they get a hernia or they injure their lower back and I've seen it time and time again so what I'm doing is I'm just have my legs lower on the leg press and I bring it down as low as I can with my mobility I have decent ankle mobility and I'm also using squat shoes which helps and just focusing on the quads so we're saying that with calves calves I really love to do on the leg press as well mainly because using that weight kind of helps with that stretch so a big problem I notice with when people do calves is they're not going all the way down using a full range of motion they're usually bouncing their heels like from halfway up halfway up they're not getting that full stretch on the bottom and i think a lot of that too is um, a lot of people do the standing calf raise and the lower you go the more your foot kind of feels like it's gonna slip off the platform so what i really like about the leg press is one they have like the the pad is grippy and two um, you can utilize the weight to kind of get that stretch in your calves before you push up so for those of you guys who have a hard time growing your calves i highly recommend doing it off the leg press and you can also overload doing it that way following that hitting some dips on my favorite dip machine the hoist machine um that and i used to have this other dip machine that i really liked in new york is like a plate loaded machine um, I kind of like that better because it had like something for to hold your knees down. This as I go heavier like I feel like I'm gonna fly off of it or my ass keeps lifting up so I have to like really try to dig my ass down into it. Okay so the last exercise on this workout we're hitting some inclined dumbbell curls. These are one of my favorite dumbbell exercises for biceps. This is something I used to do a lot before and I just recently started bringing it back. Um, I just love you know how far the range of motion is on this exercise just like how it feels and this combined with dumbbell hammer curls are going to be the bread and butter to building my biceps back up to evening out my arms no i haven't taken any measurements and i probably won't reason being is like when i do that kind of stuff it kind of gets into my head and i don't want to get into my head about you know oh my left arm still half an inch off or three quarters of an inch off or whatever it may be and i just try to push it i just I'm just taking it day by day feeling good and yeah that's another thing I feel flipping phenomenal this is the first time in a long time that I can say that my body's feeling great like outside of like this post nasal drip thing that's been messing with my sleep every night like I've been sniffing snorting saline like Tony Montana but outside of that I feel great elbow 
finally recovered from the 2020 push-up challenge. Yeah, it's been a long time <laughs> that my elbow was messed up from doing all those push-ups. But my tricep tendonitis finally cleared up. You know, my lower back is finally feeling better. It's been acting up for a long time, finally feeling better. And yeah, by just feeling great, looking great, and I'm just ready to ascend. And I hope you guys are just killing all your workouts. I hope you guys are ascending along with me. Also, before I close out this video, I just wanna say that even though my circumstances are the way they are and I'm not able to make, you know, ideal gains, ideal progress, that doesn't mean I'm ever gonna stop pushing it. That doesn't mean I'm ever gonna stop ascending. And just like I preached to you guys, always ascending, you know, never settling. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. Is even though you know we have, have these circumstances, I'm never gonna stop pushing to ascend ever. You know, just like Goku will never hit 100% of his you know potential, and no one out there is ever gonna hit 100% of their natty potential or their natty limit. You know, no one out there is perfect. You know, that doesn't mean that can't be the goal. And even though it's this endless grind, this endless climb, the bottom line is. The journey is the fun part. Once you learn to enjoy the journey, enjoy the grind, then that's when everything becomes fun, you know? And that's why I like to make these videos because I can share with you guys, you know, my passion, my love, and that, you know, going to the gym, getting healthy doesn't have to be a chore, it can be fun. It can be something you can do for the rest of your life to live, you know, long, healthy, aesthetic, super saiyan lives. That's the end of the video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys made it to the end, comment down below why you love the gym. You know, give me a reason why you love the gym. Or if you don't, just, you know, say you don't. You don't yet. For online coaching, email me, gokuflex at gmail.com. I'm currently full on VIP clients, but I still have opened up spots for regular coaching. For programs, check out sayinarmy.com. Check out Alpha Clothing. Link will be down below in the description. I'll see you guys in the next video. Much love, shantanane, aloha.